Hello, welcome to Art Bites from the Marianne Kistler Beach Museum of Art. My name is Kim Richards. I'm an education assistant at the museum. And today I'd like to share with you a unique print by John Frederick Helm Jr. It's titled Afterglow and it was created in 1954. John Helm was born in Syracuse, New York in 1900. And in 1924, when he graduated from Syracuse University, with a degree in interior design. He took a job with a college of art as an instructor in the College of Architecture with the Kansas State Agricultural College in Manhattan, Kansas, which is now known as Kansas State University. It's believed that Helm was already a painter and sometime after arriving in Kansas and um, teaching in that, and teaching, he developed printmaking skills. Um, he probably already knew some block printmaking. His early prints were relief prints um, for uh, Christmas cards and book plates. But somewhere around 1927, he switched over to intaglio printing and began uh, working in that um, technique, with that technique. You can see an example here of one of his watercolors and a dry point from 1928. After moving to Kansas, uh, a large amount of his work were scenes of the Flint Hills and the trees. And you can see good examples of both of those here. Before we get into Afterglow very deeply though, I'd like to just mention that John Helm's largest contribution to Kansas State and the state of Kansas was his promotion and appreciation of art throughout the state. In 1928, he initiated the development and collection of the um, artwork collection for the university, which is now the seed and the bulk of the collection at the Marianna Kistler Beach Museum of Art. In the 30s, he uh, initiated the uh, Friends of Art, which is still in existence today. Um, he was invited to join the Prairie Printmakers and um, he was instrumental in reviving the Kansas Magazine, which is um, promoting the arts throughout the state. And he was one of the trio that uh, revived the Kansas State Federation of Art, which was also an uh, art appreciation group throughout the state of Kansas. So it's interesting to note that with his teaching responsibilities, as well as promoting art as widely and as enthusiastically as he did, that he had any time at all to create his own work. But thankfully he did. And we have many watercolors and prints of Helms in our collection. And I'd encourage you to go to our website to look at them further if you have an interest. But let's talk about Afterglow. Afterglow is a aqua tint print but you're, you'll notice that it's got these very interesting geometric shapes throughout the trees and a very interesting style in the sky. And the way that Helm achieved those was by taking a drawing of a Flint Hills landscape, in this case, the hills and this very vast open sky. And then over it, he laid a grid on top of it. So you can see that in the, um, the drawing up here on the top left this pencil drawing. And once he has his grid overlaid, then he begins to dissect the squares in um, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal ways until he comes up with these geometric shapes that are pleasing to his eye. And then um, he uses these other studies to help him the watercolor study helps, I think, um, place the color around so he can try to capture what a Kansas sunset would look like. And then the ink study on paper would be more uh, closer to what his final print is going to look like. So this is aqua or afterglow in its aqua tint printed form. Um, I do want to mention that it was the 1955 Kansas State Friends of Art gift print. And you can notice, as you're noticing those geometric shapes, they just kind of float around there in the trees. And then he's got these um, undulating, um, very angular lines throughout the sky to um, help um, relay that sunset to the viewer. 
I'd like to read a quote um, from part of our writing. It's an unpublished writing of Helms from November of 1966. And he's talking about Afterglow and he says, the mood of a Kansas sunset with graphic, he's trying to capture the mood of a Kansas sunset with graphic means in limited terms of black and white. Symbols have been simplified and abstracted to place emphasis on the glowing sky and to suggest the transformation brought about by light. So as you enjoy Afterglow, do you think Helm was successful in transferring that um, sunset and the different shades of it in a black and white form? And if so, which part of the print do you find most convincing of that sunset? Thank you for taking the time to look at Afterglow with me and join us again for another Art Bites.